Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy. So in today's lesson we're doing three different Christmas tunes. For the beginner tune we've got this. For the intermediate tune we've got this one. And for the advanced tune we're going to be doing this. So for this first beginner tune, Deck the Halls, we're going to be doing this in G major for alto saxes, which is C major for tenor saxes. Over at Online Sax Academy you can get your free PDF for this tune, so you can print it out and read it more easily. And the link to that is down below. Now I've put a slight jazz spin on this one, because we're going to be swinging the eighth notes. Meaning when you see those eighth notes, you'll notice that the first one of each pair is longer than the second one and that will give it that swing feel. Now this tune has a classic A-A-B-A -A -A structure, meaning that the first four measures get repeated. Then we go into the B section. Watch out for the B section, you'll see there's an accidental there, meaning there's an extra sharp. So for alto saxes, you'll see we get a C sharp, and for the tenor saxes, you'll see the appearance of an F sharp. And then after that B section, we return back to the A section and back into the original key. And this idea of moving to a key with more sharps in it for the B section happens in loads of different Christmas songs as well. It gives the overall effect of the music kind of brightening up a little bit with that extra sharp. Now, of course, remember, you've always got YouTube's playback speed settings that you can adjust. So if this is a bit too fast for you at first, feel free to put it down to 0.75 or even 0.5. Over at Online Sax Academy, if you become a premium member, you'll also be able to get the backing tracks and performance tracks of these as well. So you can have a go at playing this song by yourself with just the backing as well. Okay, so here's that beginner tune, Deck the Halls. Okay, so next up we've had a few requests for this one. We're doing, of course, Let It Snow. Again, we're going to be keeping that swing feel with the eighth notes. Now with this one we go once through the melody, and then I've done half a chorus of an improvised solo. And if you'd like to put in your own solo there, then of course you can use those backing tracks that are available to premium members. A good place to start when you're improvising over those A sections is your C major blues scale. That's basically your C major pentatonic scale, which is where we take the 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 from the full major scale. And then we add in an extra note, we add in that flattened third to create our major blues scale. Now in my solo I was using other devices as well, like chord tones and chromatic passing notes. And if you're interested in learning how to create solos like this, then over at Online Sax Academy on the courses page, you can see I've got a Learn to Improvise course, which steps you through right from the very beginning, from the point of view of someone that's never improvised before, all the way up to improvising over classic jazz standards and chord changes like we've got here today. Okay, so here's that intermediate version.
for the final tune for the advanced level, we're doing one of my favourites. This is called the Christmas Song, or sometimes known as Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. The melody and the chords and the lyrics as well to this tune are just amazing. Now because this one's done in the style of a jazz ballad, you won't be swinging those eighth notes anymore. Also, the rhythms on the page can look really complicated, but that's mainly because the quarter note speed is so slow, so you end up with lots of subdivisions into sixteenth notes and sixteenth note triplets. So for this one, I'd really recommend listening to it lots and get it to the point where you can sing along with it. And you'll find that really helps you when it comes to phrasing with this one. Now, of course, this is my own interpretation of the melody and I've added in some decorations and variations. So again, if you're learning to improvise, you can use this as an example and you can see how I'm changing the melody around and have a go exploring some of your own ideas as well. Okay, so here's the Christmas song. Okay, so don't forget to head to Online Sax Academy to get your free PDF. And of course, I hope you all have a great Christmas and I'll see you soon.